Hey guys, this is going to be a quick one. Um, we're doing a Golden Eagle honeycomb reveal. Review, sorry. Um, this is what it looks like. Yep, there you go. Here it is. Got the gold honeycomb. Gold right here. Got the safety. The hammer. The mag. The slide and the aim aim sights, the trigger, and what's this thing called again? I'll just say, yeah, whatever. And the gun gun safe uh, grip safety. So if your hand's not on the trigger fully, it won't shoot. This is just a plastic barrel. Don't worry about it. Don't need it. There's a metal one in here. It comes with some gels right here. Uh, they they good, but it's not that great. But I prefer Ronin Ultra Hard. Uh, it comes with 10,000 gels. All you need to do is soak it up in some water, and then wait four hours to three hours. Mostly four hours if it's your first time. Um, got some gun oil, 100% silicon, speed loader, and some puff dino, green gas. So, uh, we've got a brush here as well to put in some silicone. I'm going to show you how to disassemble and show you how to load up everything else I'll be back when all this is drained all right guys I'm back with the gels here very cool so if you put the gels in here with your hand oh my that's a pain so it's better to spend ten dollars I think for it all you just need to do is open the top here all right grab your handful and just start loading it damn just saying these gels are bio dis dis it, it's it's okay for the uh, environment. Just gonna say that. There's a gel in here. Get out of here. It's not good to reuse gels off the ground. This stuff gets in your chamber. Not good. Sorry about that. So, all you need to do is take out the gun. Alright. At the bottom, you'll see a valve right there. Yep, right there. So all you need to do is grab some gas, right? Put it into the valve right here. Uh, five seconds if you knew. Seven seconds if you want. Or you can fill it in until gas starts uh, coming out. So it's basically nearly full. I'm just going to do a little bit more. Oh, shit. Sorry about that. Off the lens. There we go. So, before I get to that mag part, should have done this first, um, should pull it all the way out. Do I see that little notch there? You push this little button here out. Alright. When it comes out, you just pull it out. So this pin comes out. Pull it forward. So it comes out. All you need to do is grab some oil. Squirt it into these rails right here. I'm not going to do it because I already did it. Put some on the oil if you want. I do that. Apparently it has your performance better 
on this side as well. This is where the brush comes in handy. You brush all the, uh, the old oil and the dirt off. And then you spread the new stuff on. On this side, a uh, rail right there. 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 And there. Alright. That's where you need to uh, lube it. And sometimes what I usually do to stop the scratching when you pull the slide out is add some oil on top of here. It stops the scratching. Well, it still scratches a bit, but not as bad. So all you just need to do is grab that little teeth here. Lock it into this part over here. Push it all the way back. Until you see that little uh, spot there with the little notch. Grab your pin. Put it back in. There you go. Pull it up. There you go. And if you want, you can pull it down and then do this. To work the oil. Shoot it a couple times if you want. I already did that all that stuff. So we'll be fine. Onto the mag. Uh, so to lube everything up, you, uh, I think I didn't do this part yet, but you put some lube on your brush here. Don't do it directly, just for in case if it goes in. Just a little bit, not too much. And then just spread it on. Like that, like so. See? When it's all shiny, you did a good job. And the extras, sorry about that, it's just my dog drinking water. Uh, with all the extra stuff, anyway, that was, that was, yeah, anyway. Um, what was I about to say? Anyway, uh, just do a little bit here. All right. Wait for it to be all coated. Then, don't don't press this button here. All right. I'll show you quickly. There you go. It just releases all the gas out. You do not want to do that. All right. So that valve there is do not press it but if you uh, replace this button right here well this valve there you have to hold it for one second when you're putting gas in so all the air comes out if you don't do that then it'll um won't have your good performance right but if it's stock you'll be okay you can just fill it up and you'll be all good you don't have to do that button second pressing sort of stuff so I'll put this back on. Alright. Now, got your speed loader. Pull this little uh, button right there. Not button, sorry. Little. Uh, it's like a little. You'll, you'll see it if you do get one. Uh, pull it all the way down. Get your speed loader. This is why it's a pain if you do it in hand. There you go. Put it into that little section there. There you go. Holds 14 maximum. Don't overfill it. If you do, then some burst, and then you will have a jammed mag. There you go. Now it's already in. You see it all here. Let's count it. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. Yep, 14. That's max. Get your mag. Pull it in. Like, do that. Like, put the mag in. And then just chamber the round. I'll set you up quickly. Alright, we're all set up. This is it right here. Alright. Sorry I don't have one of the... Uh, what's it called? That, the FPS, whatever you call it. I don't have one of them, but I'll just show you.
feeding problems. Alright, take two. Alright, so right here is I got one. Yep, there you go. Don't have don't have the FPS reader. Sorry about that, but it's pretty accurate. There you go, slide lock. Now you just there you go. Pull out the mag, nice and cold. Ooh, that's nice. Do this to clean out any burst gels. There's no gels that burst in here anyway. Put it back in. There you go. And now you can load up a second one, which I'm gonna do, and I'm gonna show you. Alright, so you just pull back the spring. And then every time when this dispenses, One goes in. Just keep doing that until it gets full. Remember, don't overload it. Fourteen, I guess. Yeah, that's all good. All right, I'll load this back in. Oh, bet you didn't see that. Shoot at the that tree. Hold on. That tree right there. Let's see. Alright. So far, it's pretty good. Shoots all the gels, lock back. Oh yeah, better than the other gun that I had. Pretty good, pretty good. All right, take out the mag, shoot it, put it back in. All right, now it's disarmed, and I'll show you how to use this right here. Uh, it's a little safety button here. Um, it doesn't lock up if you don't have any gels or it's like pulled back. So I'll show you. Uh, there you go, see that? Hammer's back, and now you can lock it up. So then you can't shoot it. And if you if it's not locked up, this is another safety right here, so. So you have to have your hand on it. It's it's actually not hard at all. It's plastic. Well, some sort of plastic that's durable. But you push it, alright, see that little part there, it's moved, and then, there you go, you can shoot it. So I look back, so cool, should get this, pretty sure it's 448, pretty cool, right there, I love this gun so much. So good. So I'll go and put another round in and then I'll shoot some stuff. Alright, put another one in, another mag right here. Got it in. 14 rounds right here. Put it in. Alright. Nice. And uh safety. So, let's shoot it. Round of gas. Alright. Sorry about that, round of gas. But right here, I'm going to do some right here. Just saying, you can hear it filling up. And also, it'll be great. Alright, there you go. So, every 10... 10 mags of these like every time when you shoot it every 10 mags you have to oil it up if not then it's 
it scratches up everything inside and it's not going to be good. So, it's a hammer you can pull it back if there's one already chambered. I uh, guess it wasn't chambered then. I see the problem. Right. It's actually not feeding in. Yeah. So there you go. Just pull it back and then it comes up again. So let's try it. Yep, there you go. So it wasn't actually feeding a problem. Well, it was. A gel just got stuck up in here. Alright, like literally right there. So you just need to pull the spring down so all the gels can fall down. And then just lightly spring it back up. And that's all you need to do. Yeah. So, uh, I rate this gun uh, a... 9 out of 10. Pretty good. Good type of gun. So I like the style here. Right, honey, honey, honeycomb. Some gold barrels right here. Uh, nice design here. Rails right here so you can put a flashlight on. Trigger. Slide lock. There you go. Uh... So far, pretty good. Golden Eagle type of guns. Mint. So, the Golden Eagles are the best type of guns to get. Uh, if not, then just do your research. And about this other thing about the FBS, I just remembered. Um, it's actually, I saw this other video that the average was... 280 but it shot 290 260 70 yeah 260 270 290 280 so the average was 280 uh pretty strong powerful gun uh highly recommend 448 i think i think that's the price uh or 348 no it's 448 Good gun. Yeah. Better than last time. Alright, thanks guys for watching. Hope you enjoyed this. Hope it helped a lot for you to get a new gun. Uh, Golden Eagle Rangers are good guns to get. Nice metal. Good grip. Slide. Uh, mag. Locks back. Very good gun. Alright, see you guys.